Hi, this is No Ordinary Voice of Spiritual Ventriloquism. You are listening to me himself. Whoa! You are not going to believe what just happened to me about, oh, an hour and a half ago. Brother Rich gets assaulted, physically assaulted, mobile assault, from a Christian funeral procession in Macon County. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Okay, I'm going to town. i got to go get my back cracked or whatever. So I'm going to town. Minding my own business, whatever that is. And yes, I got several delays, so I was running a little bit behind. So I was going along at a pretty good clip, okay? I get on the hill, on this big hill going into town that's got a, like an S-curve on it, okay? And I get down about midway around that S-curve, and here comes the Christian funeral procession. And the Christian funeral procession lead driver was the county sheriff. He flashed his lights at me. Of course, I'd already begun to slow down, okay, uh, and uh, about three or four cars into it, somebody throws a damn bottle, full bottle of water and hits my car on the door ring. And I got a question. You know, I really did because I looked at this. Am I doing something wrong? Obviously, I've incurred the wrath of these martyrs who are supposed to be laying down their life, making themselves a doormat. So it's the least that they can do to get into heaven after living a goddamn wicked life. All right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm trying to think, did I do something wrong and, and stuff like that? Because I don't think, I mean, I got this big ditch. I can't pull over. I got this big ditch. I'm, it's not even safe to stop. You look it up. They tell you in driver's training centers everywhere, don't stop. It's dangerous for a funeral procession. You give them right away, but you don't stop if you're in the opposing lane. That's dangerous, especially on a hill with a curve. But you can't tell somebody, you know, I mean, I don't know, uh, yeah, that, 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 you know, has, you know, got dip spit coming out of one side of his mouth and, you know, ain't got half a brain anyway. Like I've, you know, insulted them or something. Well, what makes you think? that I owe your relatives who died, who have their, I'm sorry, my, I extend you my condolences, but Donald Trump don't stop his plane in the middle of the sky because somebody down below died, and he's going to pay his last respects. Come on, folks. This is funny. Uh, this is ridiculous. But I don't know this person. Should I pull over, stop my car, pay my last respects to somebody who could have been you know, sacrificing a cat or something the night before. I'm supposed to do that? I don't even know the person. You know, if you say God speed to somebody, you become a partaker of their wicked, evil deeds. And the bottom line is, is this. Look, you know, uh, maybe it's just a Southern custom. Maybe it's a Southern custom like sleeping with your sister Letting the dog ride in the truck with you. I don't know. Somebody tell me. But all I know is what the law says. And I looked it up because I am concerned. Because if I am wrong, I want to amend my ways because I'm a lawful person. I want to do that. Uh, not for the Christians. The Christians committed an assault. They, maybe they were just too retarded to know it was even assault. They're just so disgusted, you know, and they gnash on him with their teeth because he says something wrong. You know, y'all read your Bible, Christians. Find out how you really are. So anyway, I look up Tennessee Code Annotated 55-8-183, and I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, even though it's short. It says, you are required to give a funeral procession the right of way. Okay, that means if they're crossing an intersection or they're, you know, ahead of you or something like that, you are not supposed to interfere, impede. You're not supposed to try to go around the procession. You're not supposed to try to cut in and out of cars uh, uh, during the procession, like, you know, speed racer or whatever, you know. You're not supposed to do that. That, too, is dangerous. But what's really dangerous is throwing a bottle of water at somebody and maybe causing them to, uh, because they're, you know, like all your other friends here, uh, in this inbred, backwoods, back-ass uh, state of Tennessee, uh, that uh, you might cause them to run off the road. And now you got blood on your hands, and there's going to be another damn funeral procession where people are going to, 
be just like you, trying to expect that everybody's supposed to stop and pay their last respects on the side of the road. Folks, have you lost your damn mind? I mean, come on. In this Tennessee code, you live in the state, and there's no excuse for ignorance of the law. Okay? It's no excuse. In ignorance of the law is no excuse. So maybe you should have spent more time reading the Tennessee code annotated, 55-8-183. And, uh, you know, maybe you should have spent more time doing that than looking for dates at the family reunion or whatever. So, well, anyway, uh, that's all I got to say on this. You missed me. You did. You missed me. So your Christian God is pathetic. You should have, you shouldn't be inbred or you'd have had a better arm. You might have been in the major leagues. You know, who knows? But, uh, you missed me. You didn't hit me. Uh, I didn't even flinch, you know, uh, because I'm not, uh, one of these, uh, lightweight, lily livered people that's gonna crumble at the first sign that somebody shows disgust or dismay with me. <laughs> you picked the wrong guy. Seriously, I do hope we meet in the future one day. Maybe I can put my fist right in your face, asshole. Anyway, have a good day. Shalom.